Hey guys, getting right into this week's video. Today, I'm going to show you how to make my butter steak and onions. This is such a quick and easy recipe, guys. It makes the perfect anytime meal. Can't wait to share it with you. But now, if you're not a subscriber, guys, hit that subscribe button. If you would, throw me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below. Now, let's get to the countdown. I'm so close, but <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to it, Adrian. Thanks, it's me, Adrian. Today, I'm making butter steak with gravy and onions. Now, sometimes I might call, I grew up actually calling them apple steaks. I don't know, <laughs> that's what my mother called them. That's what I'm calling them apple steaks. Um, you may find them in your grocery store under blade steaks, but they are delicious. It's just a petite steak that is super tender and delicious. So I can't wait to show you this quick and easy recipe. You know what I'm about to do. I'm about to point you down. Let's get to this quick and easy recipe. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so I actually have about two medium sized onions here. And these are just regular old onions guys nothing fancy because this is really not a terribly fancy recipe it's really easy to make and super simple just making wedges and if you like more onion add as much as you like I think these medium, two medium onions will be a plenty for me today. Okay, I think I got everybody. All right, so we're just gonna set these onions to the side and we're gonna season our beef. All right guys, so this is probably three packs of the blade steak, butter steak, apple steak. I may use the name, one minute you may hear me call them blade steak, you may hear me say <laughs> apple steak or butter steaks at any time. So just know that they're one and the same that I'm talking about. Okay, so I had three packs. Uh, two of the packs had seven steaks in them and one pack had five. So that's what we have here. And these are actually quite thin, thinner than I'm used to seeing. Normally they're a little thicker uh, when I get them from the market. But this is what we're working with today. I'm going to use some oxtail seasoning. I'm not going to bother to show you the label because I know it's backwards. I have my camera front facing so everything kind of appears um, backward. So I have some oxtail seasoning and I'm just going to give a, a nice sprinkle of that. I have some onion powder. And that oxtail seasoning, they, they come in many varieties. So use whatever you like. So a good shake of our onion powder. A little garlic powder goes in. And there's Ice Maker making herself known, y'all know. And a little black pepper. Just regular ground black pepper. And this is Herbes de Provence. If you can't find this, you can get Italian seasoning. I'm not a huge fan, but it does kind of carry this dish a little bit. So I'm just gonna add a little, and I mean a little. And that's about all I'm going to add. I'm gonna add in a little dried parsley. Just a little. And I'm gonna add just a sprinkling of salt. That's about good for me. Don't need too much. And I'm just gonna mix these together. Like so. I did forget my sasson, so I'm gonna go grab that. All right, I have two packs. A sasson. 
that's the one with the achote in it that's what gives it that color and i did forget my garden vegetable seasoning i just had a little bit left in that one just going to sprinkle that on and now we're just going to toss a little bit and i'm going to add some olive oil in just a second and i did rinse my steaks off with a little lemon juice and water and now i'm going to add a little olive oil i'm just going to make sure we get everything coated okay so this is about where i want these i'm going to let these sit out and marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes and then i'll meet you at the stove all right guys so our steaks have um been marinating for about 15 20 minutes and i have in my pan some olive oil and vegetable oil i'm just going to start to add our steak all right that's our last one i'm going to fit in and we're just going to let these brown on both sides For just a few minutes per side because they're really thin okay so let's take a peek we're getting a little color so i'm going to flip the ones that are ready looking good and definitely smelling good all right so i'm going to let those go and then i'll be back all right, so I finished browning our beef and I poured most of the oil off. And now I have our onions that we sliced up in the pan. And I'm going to add two cups of water. And I'm just going to scrape up some of the bits in the bottom of the pan. It's called the fond that's in the bottom of the pan. Just gonna scrape some of that up. Gonna add some dehydrated soup greens to this. I'm gonna add about a good tablespoon and a half of the better than bouillon. This is the sauteed onion okay in this container i have two packs of uh, gravy mix to one cup of water I just added a little bit of sugar, just a little bit. You can omit it if you prefer not to use sugar. Here are our steaks. I'm going to put those right in. So before I cover them, just adding a little parsley to the top, a little fresh parsley. And now that it's at a boil, I'm going to turn it down to a medium low. I'm going to cover it and I'll let you know how long it took to cook. Just wanted to give you a peek. It's been about 20 minutes. And I just wanted to come in and turn them a little bit. But they are looking pretty good. Pretty good. And I'm going to add a little minced garlic. You can add as much or I really like to get some of the juice of the minced garlic in there, but you can add as much or as little as you like.
I'm just going to cover this back up. And then I'll meet you back. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? Yummy. Oh, these are so good. So these have been simmering for about, about 35 minutes and I'm going to let them go probably like another 20 minutes and then I'll be back. These are looking great and very tender. I can tell just by pressing my the tongs into the meat, it's very, very tender. All right, almost there. All right guys, these are done. They are so tender and they smell amazing. I'm going to serve these with some mashed potatoes and then you know what's next. The taste. All right, let's get to tasting. Okay guys. Mm -hmm. Here, you have a bite. Well, let me tell you what I think. Let's get to tasting. I almost forgot about you guys for a minute. This is so good, so tender. I made some mashed potatoes. We also have some roasted vegetables and corn on the cob. But this is so tender, so delicious. Can't wait for you to try. Guys, if you're not a subscriber, what you waiting on, child? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Tell your family, your friends, your aunties, your uncle and them. And tell them what I'm doing in this kitchen, y'all, and what Adrian thinks. Until next time, butter steak, apple steak, blade steak, whatever you want to call it. It is sure enough good. So give this a try. Until next time, bye-bye. Mmm, cute music.